Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Now, this video is going to be all about these motors that Axis Flying has sent me. So Axis Flying is a new company that has just started producing these new motors. These ones are 2207 sized and they are 1960 kV. Now, I know there's a lot of debate these days whether you should go to, for 2306 or 2207 but um, these ones 2207, apparently 2207 is gonna be better for faster RPM changes. And these have been dubbed as the new Sabang motors. So I'm assuming that they're gonna be pretty good for that. The quality of them looks really nice. They look premium. They do look really nice and they feel solid. I'm, I'm hoping that they're gonna be durable because I crash a lot, as you know. And something that's pretty cool about these motors is that if you do crash and it's particularly dusty or you crash in water, they have something just beneath the surface here, which is called an O-ring, which is supposed to keep dust and dirt uh, uh, out of your bearings so that they last longer. So um, they should remain smoother for longer, which is always a bonus. And according to Axis, they're supposed to have impressive resolution at low throttle and also because they've got 1960 kV, they're, they're gonna have a lot of power at your top end as well. So um, that's the good, what about the bads? I would say one thing I've noticed is that the motor wires are a bit thinner than I'm used to. So, I mean, if you've got a bent prop and it strikes one of the wires, then that could be bad news. But it's not the end of the world, you know, just protect them on your arms uh, and it should be okay. One other, bad point I guess you could say is that because they're higher kV they're probably going to drain your battery a bit faster and also of course because they're premium motors they're going to have a premium price tag and they're not cheap and I am actually used to using cheap motors with lower kV than this so I mean I'm assuming I'm going to feel a difference but it will be interesting just to see whether or not there is a difference between cheap and premium motors like these and so I'm going to put them on my quad now and take it out for a test and let's see what happens. Alright, so I've now got the motors on my quad and I'm going to take it out to a fly. I've come out to a field near my house. Let's see how it goes. So first pack, let's see how it feels. Okay, instantly feels like it's got a lot of power. Actually, it feels really damn smooth. Oh my god, the hang time is insane. Whoa, this, these feel a lot more powerful than my old motors and they feel a lot smoother actually, but I'm flying like an idiot, I can't. I feel like I've got more float for some reason, I've got no idea why that is. I feel like they've got um, good recovery. When I go close to the ground, and if I need to recover fast, which I guess is good for like Sabang motors, feels like that is very useful. And they feel really smooth actually. Good for rewinds. God, I haven't flown in a while, you can probably tell from my flying. Damn, they feel insanely powerful. They feel really nice.
Okay, my battery is dead. I better come back. Where are we? I'm actually completely disorientated. Uh, where are we? Back. Oh, we're here, we're this way, right? Over here? No, no, no. Left, left. left. Yeah. Over here? Yeah, straight. straight. Oh my god, my 12 volts. 10 volts. 9 <coughs> volts. Jesus. So I've completely overdrained my battery. I was just having too much fun. And first initial impressions, they feel really smooth, really powerful, really smooth. And they're pretty damn hot, I've got to say. But that's down to my tune. I've never flown motors with this high KV. So um, I'm going to give it a few more packs and just see what I can get. Okay, so I've just finished testing these motors for the first time. First impressions are that they are extremely smooth, which is great, and they've also got a huge amount of power, like way more than I'm used to. So I found it a little bit difficult at the beginning to get used to. I think they'd be great for flying the Sabang style, which is what they're kind of being marketed towards. Um, the only bad thing, I would say that it, it really kills your batteries. My LiPos have just been cooked today. Uh, one of them I actually completely destroyed, it's like expanding. Um, but if you're into flying the Sabang style, then I would definitely recommend going with these because they are super smooth, super powerful. They're able to recover fast. I've tried to fly in an open field like this before with my old motors and it just didn't really work and this was a completely different experience. So yeah, first impressions are I really like them. I'm going to continue to test and I guess you'll see future videos as well, um, just as I try and get used to them. And yeah, that, that's it really. Nice motors, good, good build quality, and a great amount of power, and very smooth, so pretty happy.